Hello everyone, this is Xavier from AI Construct and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to update NAN on Hostinger, which is currently being hosted on VPS. Um, I know there's a lot of um, comments on how to do this and I'm going to try and make a simple video so it's easy to follow and understand. So I'm going to, so as you can see, I've already hosted NAN on Hostinger here and I'll create a video showing how to do that if you guys want, just comment down below. But if you open up NAN, um, you can see that my version is showing that there are seven new updates. So mine's an older version. I've also created already a test <coughs> workflow so that we can see that it won't get deleted when we update our version. Um, obviously, when you're creating workflows and you want to update, you don't want to lose all your um, workflows that you've been working hard on. All right, so we'll go back to this screen and we will open the browser terminal. So for those who have self-hosted on Docker, the browser terminal is the same as when you open a terminal on um, your laptop and pretty much we'll be doing the same steps to pull the latest NADN version in. I'm having a bit of trouble opening. Right. So now that we've opened, the first step that we want to do is we want to check what version we are running. So I'll copy all the codes into the descriptions below, but the first code is docker exec. And this basically um, pulls in and tells you the latest version or the version that you're currently running on an end. So as you can see, when I press enter, it says 1.82.4, which is obviously a later version. Now, what we want to do is we want to copy this code in and this will open up your Docker Compose YML so you can edit. So once we do that, all this will come up. Now we want to go to, um, we want to go down to the image and we want to go across to where it says NAN 1.82.4 and we want to delete it. Now what we want to do is we want to change this to say latest. So pretty much saying that it is going to pull in the latest NADN. Now you can you might have to do this manually every time. It should just save your workflow, but I think that's what a lot of people are ha having trouble with doing. Um, so now this will pull in the latest NADN at the time when we um, restart and run the NADN. All right, now what we have to do is click Control zero, Control zero, and hit enter, or oh, enter. And then we just have to exit, so Control X. And it's, it will say save mod modified buffer, and we just click yes. And then we'll just do, oh. Yep, and that is all done. Now we'll just click enter. Right, so now we're on this version. Now we need to pull in the latest Docker. So what we could do is copy this code in. Oops. Let me just do that again. So pull in this code in. Sorry. Let me delete that and start again. So pull in the latest NADN, which we've already set up before. Yep, so now that's put. Now we gotta restart. So we'll put this code in. Pretty much what I'm saying is Docker is gonna stop the container and then it's gonna run the container. So it's pretty much just a normal restart. Click enter. So it's removing, it's all restarting and it's, um, creating again. Now we can use that same code that we used before to check what version we are running. And hopefully this shows a later version, 1.90.2. So as you can see, we have successfully pulled in a later, um, the most updated version. All right, now we can go back in here. So now what we do is if we open up NAN again, 
as you can see, we have now got the latest version. Um, our test workflow is still there. We don't have that requesting for update sign anymore. Um, we can make our workflows again. Everything works as is. You don't have to log in again. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much just an easy step on how to um, update your NN on hosting a VPS. Um, I'll put all the codes in the description. Make sure to give me a like and follow um, if you guys like my tutorial and I'll be sure to make uh, more. Um, yeah, give me a comment on what you guys want to see next. Thanks.